I know the, the coast extremely well uh, around here. I used to play down on the coast as a boy um, and I've been walking dogs around here for 30 odd years now. Matt has grown up around here and knew he knew it like the back of his hand. He got up that morning and like, he wasn't in a good mood, I could tell he wasn't. I went out to clear my head, I had a lot going on so my mind was all over the place. I knew that there was a storm coming in but it wasn't forecast to come in for the amount of time I expected to be out. Because it was about half nine in the morning when he left um, and by lunchtime I'm thinking Matt never misses a meal. He loves his food so I knew when he didn't come home for lunch there was something not right. I was on my way back and I noticed the, the tide had turned and was coming in and I thought I'll take shelter. What I should have done rather than sitting taking shelter and thinking I'm not going to make a fuss about this, I should have called the Coast Guard there and then. The weather was getting wild and it was wilder than the, the forecast because we always keep an eye on what the forecast is to be. And I just kept thinking I knew that he wouldn't be out in this by choice. With the storm coming in and night falling, Fiona called the police. I just kept thinking he's fell, he's broke his leg, he's, he's fell off a cliff, he's done something that we need to get him. But it was the not knowing. I don't know exactly when I fell unconscious, but I was woken up by a, a, an immense pressure on my head and my shoulders. And what had happened is uh, the overhang that uh, I was sheltering under had collapsed, so there was a mudslide had engulfed me. So I had to drag myself across the rocks to the, the side of the loch and get a signal to call the Coast Guard. Hello. 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 I can hear you. Do you need assistance? Yes, please. Okay, what's the problem? I'm stuck on the rocks. You're stuck on the rocks? Yeah. Whereabouts? Uh, on the coast of Loch Ryan. On the just to let you know, while I'm on the phone with you, Belfast yeah. Coast Guard have tasked the Coast Guard team to come out and find you. When the Coast Guard team arrived, they put me into a survival bag to try and get my body heat going. The police came to the door, but they couldn't give me much information. They just said, we found him. We can't say anything else. He's alive, but we don't know how bad he is. Matt was hypothermic and in a difficult position on the rocks, so he was winched onto the Coast Guard helicopter and taken straight to hospital. When I get into the hospital, they, they put you on, it's uh, like an inflatable blanket that pumps hot air through it to get your core temperature up. And it took a, a while for my core temperature to come up. Um, and they said I was severely hypothermic and I probably only had about an hour to go if I hadn't been found when I, when I was. I am so grateful. I really am. I just don't know how to express how grateful we all are. It's not just me, it's the kids that were grateful that night. It was all my friends. It was everybody that was worried about him. And we were all just lost for words that night on what to say to these people. But they are amazing. There's no other way. They're heroes. They really are. They're heroes and there's no other words for them. I'm one of those people that would think, I know this coastline, it'll never happen to me. It can happen to anybody. Without the Coast Guard, I wouldn't be here today. I mean, they saved my life. They brought me back to my family and I'll always be grateful for that.